Welcome to our channel Storm Rider. The USS Zumwalt DDG-1000 is one of the most advanced and futuristic destroyers ever built by the United States Navy, and the 2026 version represents the latest evolution of this high-tech warship. Designed to operate both in open oceans and near the coastline, the Zumwalt is a marvel of modern engineering, blending stealth, power, and intelligence into a single vessel. At first glance, its sleek, angular shape immediately stands out. It doesn't look like any other ship in the world. That sharp, pyramid-like design isn't just for looks. It's built to reduce the ship's radar signature dramatically. On radar, the Zumwalt appears no larger than a small fishing boat, which gives it a massive tactical advantage in combat situations where being undetected can mean the difference between victory and defeat. The ship stretches about 610 feet in length and displaces around 16,000 tons, making it significantly larger than traditional destroyers like the Arleigh Burke class. Despite its size, the Zumwalt is stealthier and quieter, thanks to its wave-piercing tumble-home hull that cuts through the water smoothly, reducing drag and acoustic signature. Its electric propulsion system is another defining feature. The Zumwalt uses an integrated power system, IPS, which generates about 78 megawatts of electricity, enough to power nearly 50,000 homes. This power isn't just for movement, can also support advanced weapon systems such as electromagnetic railguns or directed energy weapons in the future. That makes the Zumwalt not only a warship for today, but a platform designed to evolve with future technologies. Performance-wise, the Zumwalt can reach speeds of over 30 knots, which is impressive for its size and tonnage. Its gas turbine engines and electric motors provide a smooth, efficient, and silent ride, allowing it to move stealthily in hostile waters. This level of quiet operation makes it difficult for enemy submarines to detect. The ship's automation is also groundbreaking. With just around 150 crew members, it operates with less than half the manpower of older destroyers. That's due to highly advanced control systems that monitor everything from navigation to weapons reducing human error and improving efficiency. The reduced crew size also allows for more comfortable living quarters, modernized workstations, and digital interfaces that feel more like a high-tech control room than a traditional naval ship bridge. When it comes to weaponry, the Zumwalt is armed to the teeth, but in a smart, adaptable way. It's equipped with two advanced gun systems, AGS, designed to fire long-range precision projectiles. Each gun can strike targets up to 80 miles away with pinpoint accuracy. However, due to the high cost of the specialized ammunition, the Navy has been exploring new solutions, including converting the ship to support hypersonic missiles. In its 2026 configuration, the Zumwalt is expected to carry the latest generation of hypersonic glide vehicles, giving it the ability to strike targets at incredible speeds exceeding Mach 5. Alongside that, the ship features 80 vertical launch cells capable of firing a mix of Tomahawk cruise missiles, evolved Sea Sparrow missiles, and anti-submarine rockets. This variety gives it the flexibility to take on multiple threats, from enemy ships and submarines to land-based targets and incoming missiles. Defensively, the Zumwalt's radar and sensor systems are some of the most sophisticated ever developed. Its dual-band radar can detect, track, and engage multiple targets simultaneously, even in the most cluttered environments. The combination of its stealth features, advanced radar, and networked communication systems allows it to serve as both a frontline combat vessel and an intelligence gathering hub. It can share targeting data with aircraft, submarines, and other ships in real time, helping coordinate large-scale naval operations with unprecedented precision. In a modern battlefield where information dominance is key, this makes the Zumwalt a critical asset for the Navy. The ship's interior is just as futuristic as its exterior. Walking through the Zumwalt feels like stepping into a science fiction movie. Instead of the usual maze of narrow corridors and metal bulkheads, you find wide hallways, digital displays, and touchscreen controls. The bridge is designed with ergonomic control stations that integrate advanced computer systems allowing crew members to monitor and operate multiple systems simultaneously. Artificial intelligence plays a role too, assisting with diagnostics, maintenance schedules, and even some decision-making processes in combat situations. 
The ship's automated systems can isolate damage, control flooding, and extinguish fires faster than human response teams, which greatly increases survivability in battle. Another fascinating aspect of the Zoomwalt's design is its modularity. Many of its systems are built in plug-and-play fashion, which means they can be upgraded or replaced with minimal downtime. This allows the ship to adapt quickly as technology advances, whether that means integrating new sensors, weapons, or propulsion technologies. The Navy envisions the Zoomwalt class as a testbed for next-generation naval warfare concepts including directed energy weapons like lasers and railguns. With its massive electrical output, the Zoomwalt could easily power these systems once they are fully operational, turning it into a futuristic powerhouse capable of disabling enemy ships or missiles with beams of light rather than traditional munitions. The Zoomwalt's role in the fleet is also evolving. Originally designed as a land attack destroyer to provide precision fire support for troops ashore, its mission profile has expanded. To E-26, the ship is positioned as a multi-mission platform capable of anti-surface warfare, strike missions, and intelligence operations. With the addition of hypersonic missile capability, it can strike strategic targets deep inland or engage high-value maritime targets at extreme ranges. This versatility makes it a valuable tool in both deterrence and active conflict scenarios especially in regions where the U.S. Navy faces growing challenges from near-peer competitors. Of course, the Zumwalt program hasn't been without controversy. Its massive cost, over $4 billion per ship, and technical challenges during development drew criticism. Originally, the Navy planned to build 32 Zumwalt-class destroyers, but due to budget constraints and shifting strategic priorities, only three were completed. However, the Navy has turned this limitation into an advantage by transforming the Zumwalt fleet into a test platform for cutting-edge naval technologies. The 2026 refit, in particular, focuses on enhancing its missile capabilities, upgrading sensors, and improving integration with newer naval systems. Despite the challenges, the Zumwalt remains one of the most impressive warships afloat. It represents a bold step toward the future of naval warfare where stealth, automation, and electronic dominance are just as important as firepower. It's a ship that doesn't just rely on brute force, but on intelligence and adaptability. Every aspect, from its stealthy silhouette to its AI-assisted systems, reflects a vision of what naval warfare could look like in the coming decades. It's not just a destroyer. It's a statement of technological ambition and strategic foresight. In summary, the 2026 USS Zumwalt DDG-1000 destroyer is more than just a ship. It's a glimpse into the future of naval combat. Combining stealth, immense power generation, advanced weaponry, and unmatched automation, it embodies the Navy's push towards smarter, more efficient, and more lethal maritime dominance. While its journey from concept to reality has been complex and costly, the result is a vessel that redefines what a destroyer can be. Whether it's patrolling the world's oceans, launching hypersonic strikes, or serving as a technological testbed for tomorrow's innovations, the Zumwalt stands as a testament to human ingenuity and the unending drive to stay ahead in the ever-evolving arena of naval warfare.